As designers, we use icons all of the time, and selecting a good icon set can really make or break the project and its efficiency in the workflow. Now, in this video, I want to talk about my top three favorite icon sets, and I also want to share with you guys the checklist which I personally use in order to see if an icon set is valid, it's good, or not. So without further ado, let's jump into my computer so I can show you these concepts out. So the very first thing that I want to share with you guys is the icon set checklist, which I personally use before in order to check if an icon set is good or not. So these are my personal preferences and some of those uh, some of these are compulsory, other ones are not. So starting for the first one, I want the icon set to have a huge library to almost never run out of common icons. So this is the very first thing, it has to be a huge library. Um, I don't want to work with icon sets with uh, 30, 60 or 100 icons because uh, I'm chances are or I'm not going to have uh, many of those to use uh, uh, when I need the, in the project. So this is definitely something which is very important. Now, another uh, very important thing which uh, um, I give priority in the past years is I want to have a fast and efficient search feature. So some icon sets uh, don't have search features or they have poor tag systems. So um, this essentially uh, makes the whole workflow um, slower and uh, I don't want to start working with uh, uh, icon sets that have uh, maybe like a folder with a thousand icons and I have to like manually search inside inside the files um, that's a, that's a no-no so and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about in just a minute um, so another uh, very important thing is that I want uh, them to be fast and efficient to download so um, ideally this is kind of connected with uh, this point over here and that is I want to download them to drag and drop the image into the file and uh, kind of like forget about it because that's the the most important thing to really keep the the process uh, uh, fast and uh, uh, efficient now another important thing is I want them to be responsive and by responsive I'm not referring only to the fact that they must be SVG but uh, also the fact that uh, I want the icons to work really well on mobile and I also want them to work uh, really well on, on tablet, desktop uh, and even bigger formats than that because some icon sets uh, are created uh, in such a way that maybe they look uh, great on mobile or they look great on desktop uh, but once you make the switch from one uh, uh, size to the other uh, you kind of have uh, a decrease in quality because they're not optimized for um, having this responsive flexibility. So this is definitely something to watch out and uh, this is something that usually junior designers do not take in consideration but as you work on many projects you start to realize how important the responsiveness of the icons is. Now another thing which I already mentioned is uh, the fact that they have to be in SVG format or at least uh, PNG but nowadays I only use SVG. Um, PNG I would just use them in some specific scenarios when I have uh, some uh, um, icons with maybe special effects uh, or something that cannot be translated in SVG but for the most part whenever I can it's always SVG and 99% uh, of uh, the icons I'm working with uh, currently with client projects is all SVG so um, that, that's the way to go and the reason why is that it's a vector format so you're not going to have any uh, issues uh, with uh, the resolution because it's going to be pixel perfect regardless of the size, small or big. Um, it's always going to be uh, super crisp and uh, looking uh, fantastic. Now this is an optional one and that is uh, proven to work. So are big companies or top designers using these icon sets? So this, uh, this is another thing to consider but again this can be optional I'd say because there's there's quite a few variables but hey if uh, if uh, companies if big companies are already using them chances are th this could be an interesting set now let's jump into um, and talk about uh, my top three recommendations and the icon sets which uh, I currently use 
Now, the first one, it's uh, going to be a no-brainer for some of you guys, and this is Google Material Icon sets. Uh, um, they work amazing when it comes to UI, UX design, and web design in general. Um, the icon set is very, very um, extensive, so you're probably almost ever going to run out of icons. It's, uh, um, they really have uh, great uh, icons, and uh, I, I really like them. And uh, my suggestion is if you're using Google Material Icons in a project, do not uh, work uh, and uh, download them from uh, the actual website each and every time you need one. But um, I would suggest uh, um, getting Icon Jar, which uh, essentially it's uh, a tool I'm going to show you um, live. So if it opens up. So essentially, it's a tool which uh, allow you to browse the Google Material icons directly from uh, this uh, uh, Mac software. And uh, if I open off Figma, I'm going to show you exactly um, how this works. So basically, I can look through the icons or I can search for a specific icon right on the top and then I can simply drag and drop it into the project. And uh, as you can see, I have the icon directly here. So this is super cool for the workflow and uh, um, having these sort of softwares is um, um, a must, uh, in my opinion, nowadays, not to waste time uh, on uh, things which uh, aren't really um, something which uh, uh, brings brings value to, uh, to, to the project in a significant way because you, you rather want to spend time on the actual project than you know, finding the icon and downloading them and do all of that, that stuff which can be automatized and uh, uh, essentially be done super fast with uh, um, something like Icon Jar. Now, another great uh, icon set, and this is my favorite uh, at this point in time, uh, is the Nucleo app uh, icons. And uh, they also have uh, a free app, uh, which um, you can see over here. And uh, I prefer it uh, over Google Material icons at this time simply because uh, the library is uh, more is uh, is bigger and uh, they also have uh, three different uh, versions of uh, that same icon so we have uh, uh, a glyph option a outline option and a colored option and um, i think that the icon set from nuclear is simply amazing so definitely um, an icon set to uh, to watch out for and uh, again guys you can simply you know go go here just just like these icons uh, and uh, um, just uh, drag and drop them into the figma file so this is super super cool and uh, something which uh, i recommend you to uh, look into now the last icon set uh, is one that uh, i personally never used but i um, uh, I received a lot uh, of uh, positive feedback about uh, uh, there's many designers who are using it uh, and it looks like a really solid icon set and this is Streamline Icons. Now Streamline Icons, they're, they have like this huge library and uh, it's similar uh, to Nucleo because um, it has uh, also that, uh, that option of uh, um, the, three, the three different uh, um, three different versions of the that same icons so this is definitely a great uh, icon set to uh to look for they they look really really good um and uh, they've been used uh, by some of the top companies out there uh like adobe amazon converse ebay ea i mean <laughs> the list goes on so definitely a great icon set um the only thing uh, that you have to consider is that uh, the ultimate which is the one which i would personally go for um costs uh, 274 dollars um definitely a great business expense i mean uh I, I never had the opportunity to to um get a project uh, and to use this icon set on a project but uh, i'm actually itching for for getting them so i think that i'm going to get them anyways even if uh, i don't have a project i'm working on on it yet and uh, basically um, the ultimate contains 10,500 light icons uh, then again 10,500 of the regular and 10,500 of the bold icons and uh, 
guys i i mean it's just me but uh, I, I wouldn't go with uh, with this one like uh, i would just go with uh, with the the full one with uh, all of the icons um but uh, again great icon set i don't own it uh, quite yet but uh, uh it's definitely on uh, the list so this is it guys for this video and um, I'm curious to hear your thoughts uh, on it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave uh, a thumbs up. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions or uh, I'm also curious to hear your thoughts on uh, what icon sets are you currently using. So feel free to leave a comment below. And um, if you enjoy UI UX design, uh, um, either software tutorials or even uh, chats about uh, how I structure my freelance and 100% remote design business feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and um, this is it for this video i'll see you in the next one